Southern Cross. We meet again. Magpies v Sydney tonight. I'm looking forward to this very good game. There's a protest going on. I don't know what that is. What's that supposed to be? I am very confused right now. I had a proper lay-in this morning. I got out of bed at like 12.30, 1pm, which is crazy because I've been waking up 5am to 7am every single day for like a week and a half. Until yesterday, which is 10am. This is my first afternoon wake up. It, felt, it feels good though. It feels good. I still got early wake ups to come though. I need to not get used to waking up in the afternoon too much because I still got early wake ups to come, including tomorrow. Uh, you'll see what I'm doing tomorrow. Probably kind of obvious one of the things I'm doing. But yeah, I've got nothing else. Like I'm, I just thought I'd sleep a lot today. And I'm just out just looking at things. I looked at Marvel. I spotted another subway. I had a KFC mega fill up, which is pretty good. That's like £5.18 for the, um, the exchange of $10. So, you know, it's, it's a good meal. Apart from that, just walking around, just chilling, just waiting for the game tonight. Apparently, there's a flag unveiling, which starts at like 6 15 or something. So, I guess I'll have to be there. Also, found a better deal on water than the two for six dollars at 7 Eleven. Um, I found it with my arch nemesis, WH Smith. They annoy me because they're at every airport in England. Every England airport has like 10 of them. You come to Australia, it's the same thing. Perth, Sydney, Melbourne, there's a WA Smith at the airport. It's very annoying. Uh, and it's not just those, it's America as well. I think I found one in Egypt. Like they take over airports. It's, 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 very, it's very frustrating. And they've taken over the train stations as well. There's two of them in Southern Cross, two of them. But they have a good deal on water. Look, 7-Eleven, you've been beaten. But you are still annoying. See, look. Why both? It's the vibe I get in British airports. Over here, you know, in the airport, you have like one, maybe two. In British airports, bro, before you get to your bloody gate, you, you see like five of them. It's just like, stop it, stop it, go away. I really want to get Tim Thames now to take home, but I don't want to carry them around for like a week and a half. I'm still traveling to two other states. So it's just like, I'll wait till the airport in Melbourne when I go home. I'll, I'll, I'll wait till then. Even though they might have all the flavors I just saw. Uh, we'll be all right, we'll be all right. It's only 2.30. This day is going a little slow. I'll skip to the MCG in the vlog. You see right here is magnificent. Add to that really, but <laughs> it's a great stadium man. and I'm glad to be back. Uh, too many magpies here though. Where's the sea of red? I, I know you swans have a Melbourne fan base. I am once again asking for the South Melbourne people. Where are you? You guys know I want Collingwood to lose, so <laughs> that's what I'll be uh, barracking for any team that plays against Collingwood. And that's a spoiler because next week I'm here for the Saints game. So there is one spoiler on the game I will be at. I think you probably guess the rest anyway, but yeah, um, I'm looking forward to it. I've got three more A4 games here that I'm coming to, so you can guess <laughs> what those games are. Last week I was at the, uh, obviously the Giants Collingwood game. That was, uh, the Giants smashed it, especially in the second half. So that was brilliant. Hopefully the Swans can do the same today. That would be fantastic. Although I would, I would prefer a close game. A close game and Swans win, ideal. That would be ideal. But I think it's more than likely that Connie would win. But to that, I do hope I am sincerely wrong. The gates are just opening. There was a long queue for MCC. The place will be packed. I hope the whole stadium is packed today. Um, obviously yesterday, Carlton Richmond, you'd expect that to be full on. I'm hoping today's full on as well, but I feel like it'll be a bit less even. Yesterday was very even, I think a lot more magpies for obvious reasons, but hopefully it's an even amount of ones. Um, hopefully there's a few next to me, that'd be great. I'm not sure I want to be surrounded by Collingwood fans if they win, which they're likely to do today. But yeah, um, for all my tickets, it's clear where I'm going, like what stand I'm in. Uh, this one, it says, it doesn't say a stand, it says dry bay, no alcohol. Okay. But there's, why is it, does it, it says gate five, so I don't know what it is, but why does it not say what stand it is? Bloody hell, mate. Okay, opening time was like three minutes ago. And officially it's called an unfurling, which, I, I don't know, I, I want to see it. I've, never, I've not seen that before, so I'm curious. But clearly a lot of fans are here early <laughs> to see that too, which is fair. It's their first flag in a little while. 14 years, right?
Texas Tech, we have to use the same But all best luck to the college there, we're going to try to show you all and join it. Welcome, Jacob. Welcome, enjoy the night. Thank you. A big thank you there. Unfortunately, it's Collingwood, but I'm at least glad I don't know how that works now. I've not seen that before, even on like TV, so that was, that was pretty interesting. Those were some good nachos, but no cheese. Who does nachos loaded without cheese? How dare you?
Good first half. The Swans have been better in the first half, but the Pies have not been that bad. They've been pretty good as well. The Swans have been a bit better. In the first quarter, the Swans missed so many shots. They had more scoring shots, but missed a lot more. They wasted a lot of opportunities. They had, they had the opportunity in the second quarter as well to really like get a big lead, but they couldn't do it. You know, the goal kicking wasn't straight enough for, the, for most of it. In the second quarter at the start, they definitely showed more. They're a lot more clinical in the second quarter. The first half of it, actually, at least, they gained a 30-point lead, smashed it out of nowhere, just goal after goal after goal. Then they started missing again, uh, and Collingwood made a bit of a comeback. But it's still a three-goal lead. Um, hopefully, they eat the pies in the second half, just like I'll eat this one. So there was a moment, right? There's been some funny misses, but there was a particular moment where the ball was kicked towards the 50, sort of, and it hit the camera. You know the camera that flies across the field uh, on, on wires and strings? That camera. I don't know if it hit the camera or the wires, but either way, I remember seeing the ball go up and it deviated, it hit something and deviated, and I'm just like, it's just hit the camera. What do you do then? It's like, you can't pay a free kick, but clearly the momentum's been affected by that. The ball could have gone further. I'm just saying. I've never seen that before, but I wasn't anyone who noticed it. I hope people noticed it as well. Anyway, we've got a second half to go. Uh, I'm looking forward to it and hopefully the Swans win. They've got a good chance. I think they've been playing well. Just got to keep doing what they're doing and actually be more clinical, shoot better. If they can kick straight and keep playing that they're playing, they can definitely win this game. But the Magpies, they never, they never lie down. So they could also win this game. Uh, it could go either way, it could go either way. I think the third quarter is going to be very important. So we'll see how it goes down. Looking forward to it.
Even the chess gods give it up.
<laughs> there's a lot of Colony fans around me. Hardly any swans, so um, I'm gonna keep my laughs a little bit quiet. But uh, that was very enjoyable. <laughs> that was really fun. Um, they smashed us the third quarter, as we uh, Collingwood started faltering, started making more and more errors in the third quarter and Sydney just started getting better third quarter and that's where the game was won. They smashed that third quarter. By three quarter time the margin was too big. Collingwood almost had a great start to the last quarter, could have made a game of it, but the Swans stopped them, kept them quiet and uh, absolutely smashed them. So uh, yeah, Collingwood I don't think looked that bad in the first half, but second half they really got found out. So yeah, two games, two losses. Uh, I guess the city of Sydney have a 2-0 against Collingwood. The Sydney teams look very good, so it's not like, oh, Collingwood have lost two, two easy games. They've lost two tough games. They've still lost two games, which is not good for Premiership winners. But both Sydney teams are very good, and they're both Premiership contenders, in my opinion. So, you know, there is that. You know, there's at least that excuse for them, that reason for them. But, yeah, it was still pretty bad for them, especially the second half in last week as well. Uh, they've not played, they've made too many errors um, in the third quarter, especially missed a few kicks. In the third quarter as well, for most of it, the Swans like looked so comfortable. The Magpies were like not in the game. Literally for most of that third quarter, it didn't feel like Magpies would even get a goal. Like it was, it was that bad. Sydney were that comfortable. It kind of felt a little too easy. And you're wondering, are they still hungover from the Premiership win or is there something else going on? Because they don't seem like the team that <laughs> from the last two years Collingwood obviously again tough start so we'll see what to do in the upcoming games after but uh yeah you know all it takes is a bad a, a little bad start and it can start a run of bad, bad results but we'll see time will tell but if I was a Magpies fan I'd be a bit worried um but regardless they can look at it more positively and think oh we've lost the two very tough teams so it could just be that if they beat the Saints next week then maybe <laughs> but i hope they don't and i'll be there and hopefully the saints can pull it off i need to find jolly one where's jolly one i'm lost i've got a nice song for you good old collingwood forever they have lost their first two games back to back they lost to sydney to uphold the magpies choke see the giants and from shouting after beating the pies both games were a cakewalk against a good old Collingwood. Look guys, I literally made, I made a new song, you know? <laughs> it, only, it only matters right now. It doesn't matter again unless they lose back to back to these two teams again, which that requires the picture to line up. But for now, for this week, for the next few days, someone's saying shout up, not to me though. <laughs> it's at the singing swans. <laughs> for now, that song is very funny and very relevant. Why am I on the grass? I don't know. It's just me on the grass. I think Jolly One's down there. <laughs> I've been talking so much, I've fl flipping forgot where I am. How oh, magnificent is the G. <laughs> right, so I found Jolly One is right there. There you go. I don't know where I'm going again. I thought I'd say that I'm going from the vlog. Uh, oh, tomorrow, back, back. spoiler, I'll be at the Hawks game. Surprise, big surprise. Oh! Essendon be off one at the G. I'm laughing today, but I could be crying tomorrow because there's a game we could lose, but I also feel we could win depending on circumstances. Um, Essendon and I feel are a better team, just based on last year. Uh, but you, you never know which Essendon could turn up. You also never know which Hawthorne could turn up. So it could be an even game. So hopefully we win, but I got a bad feeling. Anyway, I'm hoping for a win and uh, I'm excited for tomorrow. Um, I at least think it's realistic we can win the game. So hopefully we can do that. So it's 10.30 p.m. now, I got to get back edit my vlog ASAP because I'm checking out my hotel in the morning so I need to edit it sleep not oversleep because I need to check out and then uh, go head to the game and then I'll be uh, heading off I'll be flying somewhere else tomorrow yes I'll be flying to another state not for AFL reasons so because of this I will not be at Sunday's Melbourne Western Bulldogs game apologies for that but it's something I really want to do and uh, I had to fit it in somewhere so <laughs> I still got three games out of four at the MCG um and you know that's, that's including the hawks and that's more than enough in, including richmond carlton so uh yeah kind of everything but i'm looking forward to doing what i'm doing <laughs> in other states got a couple more states to visit and i'll be back in melbourne for round two where i'll be seeing at least a couple games this is your boy davidoff please like share subscribe thanks for watching have a good day goodbye <laughs>